Well, once things settled down from the fist bump fiasco yesterday, the, the Dalai Lama got down to business here in Memphis. He graciously accepted the 2009 International Freedom Award yesterday, and Fox 13's Les Smith was there. The 2009 International Freedom Award recipient, the, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Despite the many awards and worldwide accolades he has received since his exile to India 50 years ago, the Dalai Lama is not a man given to false humility, which is why his message of nonviolence, inner peace, and love has resonated far beyond the borders of the homeland he and over 100,000 Tibetans fled after Chinese occupation. <laughs> At the jam-packed Wednesday luncheon in his honor held at the Peabody, the spiritual leader humbly expressed his gratitude. This award, I consider some kind of recognition. My small contribution for well-being of humanity. Out of the richness of an ancient culture, it is a voice of timeless wisdom. During the ceremony, a short documentary film narrated by actor Richard Gere traced the incredible life of a man who by the age of four became the spiritual inspiration for millions of Tibetans. But forced into permanent exile in 1959, the Dalai Lama has continued to serve his people by providing food, shelter, and the formation of an in-exile government, one which the United States officially has never embraced. Yet, though being deeply involved in the human rights struggle of his people to reclaim their country, the Dalai Lama has successfully extended his philosophy of peace worldwide through the 70 books he's authored touting the joys of love and compassion. Well, compassionate mind, open our mind, and with compassionate sort of mind, and your whole attitude then becomes something positive. However, in spite of the seriousness associated with the Dalai Lama's story, <laughs> he displayed a wry sense of humor many times on his Memphis visit, including explaining the origin of the numerous scarves he passed out to a few lucky recipients like Memphis civil rights legend Ben Hooks. Wherever you are, Elvis, eat your heart out. Is it a scarf? Yes. I, I consider this is a symbol of harmony. Because it is a tradition come from India, but the material made in China. <laughs> Les Smith, Fox 13 News. Mm. You know, recipients of that Freedom Award get a gift of fifty thousand dollars. Dalai Lama donated his right back to the National Civil Rights Museum, as did former President Bill Clinton and former Vice President Al Gore. Well done. <laughs> Live from the Fox 5 Studios in Atlanta, you're watching Good Day Extra. Well, the fist bump is a popular greeting for some, but when the Dalai Lama is involved, it gets controversial. Memphis Mayor Pro Tem Myron Lowry is catching some heat for throwing the pound to the spiritual leader. Not once, not twice, but three times. The gesture has a lot of people talking. Has anyone ever done it to you before? Yeah. And what do you do back if someone holds their hand up like that to you? I mean, you can't reject them. You've got to give it back to them. Culturally, for us as African Americans, it worked. But for him being the Dalai Lama, I think it was out of context. Last year on the campaign trail, President Barack Obama was seen fist bumping with First Lady Michelle Obama. I mean, it seemed pretty friendly to me, and uh, I thought the Dalai Lama seemed very receptive. In fact, he put his own twist on it. Yes, he did. Yeah, he put a little stank on it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, if, if he's going to do that, then I think it's okay. I, I, I thought it was kicked cool. it up a notch. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I mean, I think if, you know, we're, we're, we're getting to know each other. We're becoming familiar. There you go. I'm all right with it. <laughs> Normally, you're supposed to blow it up. Show me how you blow it. That's, that's I mean, what they should have done. Yeah, yeah but, blew up oh, the spot, but. but we'll teach him. Okay. When he rolls through the studio, we'll show him. <laughs> <laughs> now to another story. This is Fox 5 Morning News. And then the Dalai Lama doing a fist pump. But not everyone is smiling about it. Yeah. Why this video is drawing smiling. some criticism this morning. He was smiling. smiling. Right, that's all that matters. All right, plenty still ahead on Fox 5 Morning News. The Dalai Lama doing a fist pump. <laughs> Looks like he was having fun, but today not everyone is laughing. Why some are calling it inappropriate. Well, the Dalai Lama visited Memphis, Tennessee, and instead of a handshake or a hug, he got this. It's a fist bump.
and he took it in stride as the mayor pro tem of Memphis showed him how to do it. You can see he got the hang of it soon, but some are calling it a disrespectful move on mayor pro tem Myron Lowry's part, and some political analysts call it political posturing as Lowry is up for re-election. His Holiness is in Memphis to receive the Freedom Award from the National Civil Rights Museum. The new iPhone app that lets you dig up dirt on the person you are dating. Memphis Mayor Myron Lowry is talking about his fist bump around, or Memphis Mayor Myron Lowry's fist bump, excuse me, is being talked about around the world. It all happened on Tuesday as Lowry welcomed the Dalai Lama to Memphis to receive his Freedom Award from the National Civil Rights Museum. Here's some video. Here we also have a tradition that we're using. All your fists, it's the bump. <laughs> they say you've got a sense of humor. I've always wanted to say, hello, Dolly. <laughs> Since that moment, the fist bump has made headlines on everything from Yahoo News to CNN. We talked with Mayor Lowry about why he's getting so much attention. It's unusual to hear a leader of the city kid around and joke with a world leader. And that's what I did. Mayor Lowry says he talked about the gesture with the Dalai Lama's protocol office beforehand just to ensure it wouldn't offend him. The mayor says the Dalai Lama gave him another fist bump yesterday as they toured the Civil Rights Museum together. And the Dalai Lama gets a lesson in the art of the fist bump, what the Buddhist leader first thought about the greeting. <laughs> In Memphis, the mayor likes to greet people with a fist pump. Even if the guest is the Dalai Lama, look at this. The Buddhist leader laughed at the unconventional greeting. It looks like he had a little trouble with it. Didn't seem to get it at first and wonder if it had some violent connection. They tell him it's all right. The Dalai Lama was in Memphis to receive a Freedom Award from the National Civil Rights Museum. I like Let's how you fist pump. Yeah, right. could, this could start something new there. Right? <laughs> I like uh -huh. that. <laughs> Thank you, Dalai Lama. <laughs> Running low on ammo Why gun owners are having a hard time <laughs> finding bullets. Now, top stories and weather before the first commercial break. This is Good Morning Cincinnati live on Local 12. When he was still on the campaign trail, you may recall President Obama did something we should probably all do now with H1N1 going around, the first bump. Fist bump. Yes. It's a fist bump. And now the Dalai Lama is learning about this very hip greeting. Here we also have a tradition uh, that we're using. All you fists, it's the bump. It's the bump. <laughs> say you got a sense of humor? I've always wanted to say, hello, Dolly. <laughs> 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 Myron Lowry, the mayor pro tem of Memphis, gave the spiritual leader a fist bump. Actually gave him fist bump lessons during a visit this week. Those traveling with the Dalai Lama say he approved of the greeting. In fact, he was quoted as saying, Booyah! No, he wasn't. I made that I made that last part up. The Dalai Lama did not say Booyah. Although that would be funny too. Um, time now is just about 636. It's 70 degrees out is there. Is that word of special meaning? Booyah? Yeah. It's just hip and cool like okay. like Jen Dalton. Just, that would be true. There All right. Go. I will, won't, won't say that Jen isn't hip and cool. A new vaccine holds major promise in slowing the spread against HIV. Watching News 10 Good Morning. Connecting with our community. And the Dalai Lama got an extra special welcome to the city of Memphis. He received a fist bump from the city's mayor. Mayor Pro Tem Myron Lowry telling the Dalai Lama the fist bump is a tradition. And he showed him how to give one back. Mayor Lowry later said the greeting was better than saying, Hello, Dalai. People are still talking about the way interim mayor Myron Lowry chose to greet the Dalai Lama on Tuesday. Some say that this fist bump was inappropriate. Others think that it was pretty funny. Political science professor Michael R. Moore says that the gesture could have been political posturing since Lowry is a contender for the mayor's seat. Others say that there is no excuse for a fist bump, especially to a spiritual leader in such a serious setting. It was not the formal handshake. Uh, but it showed informality, which in many ways Asians appreciate this. Culturally, for us as African Americans, it worked, but for him being the Dalai Lama, I think it was out of context. Mm. Now, Lowry defends his fist bump, saying that the greeting was given the green light by the Dalai Lama's handlers. <laughs> 